Okay. We ready? Four, three, two, one. Let's go! I love country because it's real. It's just my lifestyle. It's who I am. That's what country is. It's about family. It's about America. It's Brit on the road. From the Wrangler National Finals Rodeo. Let me show you how a country girl gets it done, y'all. You're on with Britt Bailey. Yes, we are on and on the road, out of the studio. We were being joined by a bunch of different rodeo athletes competing here at the National Finals Rodeo and also some music artists that are performing and some that would like to. Sam Riddle, I think you kind of fall into that. You really would like to perform here at the NFR. Yes. I mean, like I said, you know, we talked about I, I've been it's been a part of my life, you know, for years um, playing every night of NFR when it was in Las Vegas. So this mm -hmm. year is a uh, it's just I just chalk it up to, you know, more 2020, you know, right. it, not being a part of NFR is a sad. It just feels like, uh, you know, it always ended my year. Sure. And on, a, on a really high note. And um you know, uh, it's just it's just a sad thing. And I know everybody in Vegas is sad about it. So right. it's just yeah. weird. Everybody's used to all the the cowboy hats and all the cowboys around. And it's almost like they, you know, all the people in Vegas are like, whoa, look at them all. You know, right. <laughs> <laughs> and we come in like Cedro. I mean, like everything. Yeah. And all of a sudden you look around and you're like, OK, I'm, I'm looking for the guy in the cowboy hat. And it's like, OK, yeah. wait. <laughs> yeah and all the jackets are the greatest i mean it's just like it's yeah. fun and all the girls are like a sea of turquoise you know <laughs> There's, uh hence the beads yes yeah, i love it i love this it year is such a denim year i see that we are matching here in our yeah, denim jackets like we are already and we both have very similar tastes in our living rooms as well yes very much so yeah. very much so <laughs> Well, now, I know you are originally from Montana, and I'm guessing that besides the NFR, you've been to a rodeo or two. Uh, yeah, I mean, my uh, I mean, growing up, my summers, I mean, the memories I had, I wasn't in the rodeo, you know, mm -hmm. but uh, the memories I have surrounding rodeo. I mean, it's just like uh, it's some of the greatest moments of my life, you know, have have happened, um, you know, around it. And, uh, you know, well before I, you know, did this for a living, um, you know, that was a huge part of my my summers. And then, you know, when I when I did uh, chew, you know, have this vision of what I wanted to do. Part of that vision was I want to play rodeos, you know, yeah. like the girls and the smells and, the you know, the summer nights. I mean, it was like the for me, it was like the perfect thing to to encapsulate everything i love about you know country music and and our country and and the people that i grew up with and and uh, i don't know it's just it encapsulates everything i love that is so cool well and i know 2020 has been kind of interesting for you you just got signed on to yeah. a new um group and everything like that so tell me a little bit about how your 2020 kind of uh was it was at the at the beginning. It was going as normal, you know. You, I, I remember right at the beginning of the year, I had just gotten back from a tour in Australia, and I, uh, I was, you know, I was playing every night, you know, leading up, and you were hearing about this thing, and you know, we were all, you know, especially us, we're like, this is not going to affect, you know. So I'm right. still out there, you know, up jumping in the crowd, even though there's something in the back of my mind is thinking, you know, there's like a weird flu going around mm -hmm. and uh then all of a sudden march hit and i think it was the second week of march and uh that was my last show and they, they canceled uh the rest of my month wow the the rest of the dates my tour that month and then we were just kind of waiting around remember because it turned from two weeks to two months to three yep. months and um now December. <laughs> yeah, now December, yeah. But the, the craziest thing about this year is uh is all the blessings that I had in it, you know. And uh, you know, I was able to I've never had a vacation. You know, <laughs> I mean I've been playing since I started music, I've been playing two, three hundred nights a year for years. Wow. 
yeah and it's like i didn't like to go anywhere unless i had a gig or a show right sure um, so like that was this it, this was never really worked to me anyway so i was always kind of on vacation right yeah <laughs> i uh you know i i really kind of like took it as it sucked that the gyms were closed like it would have been nice to use that time to like really go to a new place you know but uh i really just took it to hang out with my daughters and cool. and you know soak up that time and and it was cool at first and then you kind of get into that stir crazy mode <laughs> i just kept telling myself you know hold them tighter hold them tighter you know with all the craziness that happened yeah. i mean even even you know to the kobe bryant thing mm -hmm. i mean you know everything this year made you hold your family tighter yep. and uh and then out of nowhere um i get this uh contacted by a label out of nashville and um you know another huge blessing you know i've with uh i've never I'm, i've never seen a label at my shows i've never you know talked to one i've never you know it was there's nothing it was something that i always thought about but never really came into my world you know sure. it's all about live shows live shows and vegas and you know everything and and um this kind of came out of nowhere and of course i was skeptical <laughs> you know, with the business that we're in right. we have to deal with a lot of people yeah, coming in and out and having to you know weed through, and these people were not only legit but just um, you know just amazing people, and um, I felt like it was the perfect situation for me to you know build on what I've been you know building for all this time. So and and have a, the kind of team I've never had a team. It's been team me, you know. <laughs> <laughs> now that I have uh, I have that, it's just uh, it's weird you know, to, and a little uncomfortable to, you have, to, there's a lot of trust involved, a lot yeah. of getting the weight off my shoulders and like being like not doing something every day and no, and thinking that there's other people doing these things. Yeah. It's a hard thing, you know, to get used to, sure. but it's just, again, another huge blessing from this year. And, and then with, uh, you know, the ability to, you know, with the team, you know, uh, I'll finally have a team and actually push, put music out that will be promoted mm -hmm. and, you know, people work in it. And it's not just me being like, oh, man, we got we got a little bit of money. Yeah, let's make this song. And yeah. You, got, you know, <laughs> you go into the studio and you may you got two hours, you know, yeah. and you make a song and you put it on Spotify and you're like, all right. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> hey, by the way, so, hey, play my song. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, the, the cool thing is that, like, you know, I got into this for the live aspect. Mm -hmm. And um, so that's to me what it's always been about is the interaction with people. And um, again, this year brought that kind of, it forced me to concentrate on the other side. Sure. And um, yeah. So so, so I mean, again, it's been, it's been a blessed year with all the craziness. That's awesome. So speaking of all that music and that type of thing, you've got a couple things are in the works looking ahead towards 2021. Tell us about that. Yeah. So we are working on a new album and um, I've been, you know, back and forth between Vegas and Nashville writing and, and recording and getting ready to uh, release uh, what I hope is the first single, um, you know, early spring. And uh, again, with everything that's going on, the normal things like country radio seminar and all these kinds of things that are virtual that, you know, I, I, I'm not able to give you like an, an exact time, but the plan is to put out the first single this, this coming year uh, pretty soon. And uh, I'm really excited about that. And, um, you know, again, to be part of a, a team that is, uh, is so great and um, has, uh, you know, the work ethic to, finally introduce me to people that haven't seen me before. Sure. That's fantastic. Well, and I know you've got a couple different videos that are out there right now. If people yeah. want to go and find your music at the moment, where can they go? The best spot. SamRiddleMusic.com is kind of a great hub to get everything. And uh, again, my YouTube channel, uh, Sam Riddle Music. I think it's called Sam Riddle TV. Okay. 
<laughs> but yeah, you can go there and there's just all kinds of stuff that's been put up. But um, again, it's like now that I'm in a situation where we can just kind of hone in and concentrate on this. Sure. Um, it's a, it's just a really exciting time to be able to now put out stuff. that's not like, you know, Hey, we just put out this project, you know, like it's like everything's got a plan behind it and uh, a vision and, and it's on brand and on message. And, and I'm just really excited. But yeah, if you guys want to look at anything that I've done, um, there's a lot of stuff up and um, check it out. And, and uh, you know, I would love to, uh, you know, get some new people on board and, and see you all very soon. Very cool. Well, I thank you for coming on and being part of this adventure on the road with me. It's been great to catch up. And yes, I'm so happy to meet you. Yes, you and, too. Uh, I want to come into your living room. We can talk about, <laughs> you, know, you know, styles that we have. And uh, we yeah. obviously shop at the same types of places. I would say that we definitely do. <laughs> we'll look forward to your new music coming out soon. Yes, thank you so much. That's what we do. That's what we love. Love it. That was another On the Road exclusive with Brit. That's perfect. We'll take it. Social Butterfly. I can't believe this thing went viral. On 93.9 The Country Moose.